Now, if you haven't heard of Sansui, they started off their company back in Japan in 1947, and then they started selling audio equipment here in the United States. But for some reason, back in 1988, they left the United States, and we haven't heard from them since. With that being said, on this video, we're going to just get out of the box. I'm going to do some gaming on it, and we're going to look through the menu system to see what surprises that it has. Let's get into it. A few things I want to show you is that this is a 4K television, it supports HDR10, and it does have HDMI 2.1s to do a native 120Hz. Now it is powered by Google TV, and it has features like Google Cast, Dolby Vision, and a ultra slim design, and it does have the voice control, remote control for the Hey Google feature. So as we all know, a lot of people do want OLED televisions just because it has that inky black level. And the thing is, is that OLED TVs are gonna give you a really good picture. And the thing is, is that they're gonna be great for movies. So let's go and get everything out of the box here. At the top of the box it has this metal piece. We'll find out what that is in just a moment. There's also a remote control, power cord, and a setup guide. And the interesting thing is that this is more of a foam instead of styrofoam, so pretty good packing. Now looking at the box, you can see that the TV is extremely thin here on top. We also have some cardboard on each side of it to keep everything protected. And here's a closer look at one part of that cardboard, and the other piece is down here at the bottom. Look how thick that is. So they really want to protect this TV when it's getting shipped. Now this TV is so heavy, I can't get it on my own. And my assistant Justin just got back from Hawaii. So uh, let's go ahead and try to get this out so we can put the base on. Now I was wondering why this TV is so heavy is because of this piece right here. So this is the base that holds the whole television up. And it's not that the TV was heavy. Again, this little piece right here weighs Seems about 10 pounds, so let's go ahead and get everything put together. And here's a closer look. You can see the Sansui logo right here on the corner. Here's that heavy base I showed you a minute ago, so we'll just kind of lay this like that. And then we'll just go ahead and screw everything together so we can uh, get this mounted on the TV. Now keep in mind, there's four holes here, four screws holes here, so that means you won't be able to raise and lower the stand. But once you get all four of these screws in here, then we're ready to mount it up on the base. And I would say it's fairly easy to put together. Here's the remote control that comes with the Sansui, and I really like it. I like the fact that it has a number pad, and if you look on top of it, you have your Google button. You also have your profile button, so you can add an account for everyone. And you have this nice white button, so it's easy to navigate through all your different features. It also has hotkeys at the bottom, including YouTube, Netflix, and the remote control even has a backlight. And this is a feature you sometimes don't even get in the premium television brands out there. So I really like this design on the television. It's got that nice black piano glass look to it. And being that it is an OLED, you see how thin it is from the side. Of course, you have this piece right here, and that's going to house all the components. Now, this little notch here has some ventilation at the top. Over here, we have your power cord input, and then you have some holes right here so you can mount it on the wall. And again, without the bracket here, you'll use these bottom ones. Now it does have two speakers here on the back of it. And then there's this door right here that has all the different components. And this is where the wires can come out, as you can see right there. And the whole back of the TV has this look to it. it kind of looks like carbon fiber, but it's not. But it's pretty cool. Now most of the inputs are here on the bottom, but over here we have a USB-C, TV tuner, and one of the HDMI inputs right there. Down on the other side, there's a fiber optic input, ethernet input, AV input, headphone output, another USB, and we do have a total of four HDMIs. One of them is eARC, and this can be used for Adobe Atmos pass-through. And here's a closer look at that base. I really like the design on it. It looks very premium. Before we get it set up, all we need to do is just go ahead and get the screen protector off. I went ahead and got everything all set up. So now we had it up and running and I'll show you a couple of demo clips on it. And as you can see, this TV has a stunning picture. At the end of the day, it is OLED and this panel is designed by LG. And paired with Google technology, I think it's a home run for everything that you get for the money. 
At the time of this video, this TV does retail for $1,000, which is $200 less than the LG B4. And the thing is, if you look on paper, the B4 in this television has almost the exact same specs. The biggest difference that you're gonna see is that the LG has WebOS and this has Google TV. The LG B4 does have four HDMI 2.1 inputs, and this one has two HDMI 2.1 inputs. One of them shared with eARC, so that might be a deal breaker, but if you can pick this up between $799 and $899, you're gonna be saving three or $400, so I think it might be worth it at the end to get a better value. Here's the interface, it is Google TV. I did have to log into a Gmail account and I did have to hook it up on Wi-Fi, but I did use the Google Home application to set this all up. Now you do have a TV tuner, but I didn't hook it up, but as you can see here, you have Google TV. And if you do hook up antenna to it, you will have all your settings in here. But as you can see, it is pretty snappy. And of course you have access to all the applications that set up inside of your Google Home. Plus there's a media player for planning your files off of your thumb drive. And as you can see, it has Kodi, Peacock, and a few other applications that you would need. Now there's a lot of functionality here, but we'll focus on just a few things that I feel that's important. First of all, under picture settings, it is set up as eco. You might wanna turn it off and put in a format like movie if that's something that you wanna get the best picture out of as far as having that warm look to it. Now this TV does run off Android 11. It's not the newest one out, but it actually works really good. There's only a few minor tweaks in the newer operating system. And far as storage, it has 11 gigabytes in it. Now you do have this ambient mode, so whenever you're not watching content, you can have a picture on it, and that is part of Google TV. Another feature this has is you can cast to it because it is Google operating system. But according to what I'm seeing, you will not have access to Amazon Alexa applications. And just so you know, it doesn't support Apple AirPlay or Apple HomeKit as well. If you wanna connect it to those devices, you're not gonna be able to do it. You probably just wanna use Google if you have that in your home already. So now we're gonna check the input lag and that's basically how long does it take for the signal to get through this HDMI cable and let's see how fast this one is. And keep in mind, this is a 1080p 60 frames per second uh, tester. And just so you know, I've already put the TV in gaming mode so we can check it out. So we're looking at 22 milliseconds. So now we're gonna check the capabilities of gaming. So in the Xbox, you can see that it will support 4K up to 120 Hertz and that's amazing. And as we go into 4K TV details, as you can see, this television supports everything that the Xbox has to deliver. And we're talking about auto low latency, variable refresh rate, and it even supports Dolby Vision Gaming. So you can see this TV will support everything that you throw at it when it comes to the Xbox and the PlayStation. And I like the fact that it has an info button on the remote control. And as we press it, you can see right there that it will support 2160p at 120. So that's all I want to cover on this particular video, but I will be working on the full review. So if you have any questions about this television, please leave it in the comments below. Now we'll tell you, since it is a OLED, there are some things that you want to be aware of is that it does have pixel shifting and that kind of moves the pixels around and that helps keep from the TV having burn in and they call it OLED care. And this TV does have a couple things that really stood out to me that could have room for improvement. For example, uh, most TVs have a menu so you can get all the pop-ups, but unfortunately at this time, this remote control does not have a menu system. You'll have to go to the settings to adjust your picture and things like that. Now it does have this karaoke feature here on the remote. And when you pop that on, it gives you the sidebar and you can go into a karaoke mode. Now that would require you scanning a barcode from the television, download an application to your phone, and then you can sing along with a USB microphone or a Bluetooth microphone directly with the television. So that seems like a pretty fun feature to have. Personally, I like the design on the television. I like the features on the television and the fact that it uses Google TV. You get all those applications, you get the voice command, everything that you can do with Google TV, this TV can handle it. And that includes putting in a basic mode so you don't have to use Wi-Fi unless you want to. 
But again, so far, it looks like a pretty good value. So if you're interested, I'll leave all the links in the description below. And you can go to microcenter.com and get the $7.99 price at this point. But because it fluctuates, uh, I'll leave some links in the description below so you can get it at some places that's more local to your area. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks a lot, Sansuti, for sending me out this television. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.